This machine is like having a full-blown cafe right in your kitchen. Let's talk about the Escasso Baby Tea and see if it can actually beat one of these. The Escasso Baby Tea brings together a holy grail of factors for home espresso machines. It's fast, it's smart, it's wildly consistent, it's powerful, and it's energy efficient. How exactly did Escasso cram so much into a machine that's equally at home in a pop-up cafe as it is on your counter? Now, quick disclosure here, this machine was sent to me by Espresso Parts, a company that distributes Escasso machines in the US as well as many other machines. And they hit me up and they said, hey, would you like to give the baby tea a spin? And I said, well, <laughs> what do you think I said? I said, of course I would. They had no expectations at all. They just said, hey, give it a run, put it through its paces, let us know your thoughts. We'd love to hear what you think. This video is in no way sponsored by Escasso or Espresso Parts, but if you wanna check them out or check out the Baby Tea, I've dropped links to them down below. Now I have to say, this machine is an absolute powerhouse and it also comes with a pretty big price tag. So I'm gonna go a little bit deeper in this video than I might normally. So if you're new to Espresso or you're just catching up to speed and you hear something maybe for the first time, don't be shy, drop me a question in the comments. I love chatting with you and I respond to each and every comment. The Baby Tea has beautiful home machine looks, but it's also got commercial cafe power behind it. What's really crazy is it also offers wild energy efficiency and smart features. Now, many people who end up looking at a machine with this price point also end up looking at machines like the Linea Mini, a GS3, an Eagle One Prima, and now the new Micra. And I'm gonna tell you how this compares to some of those in just a few minutes. One thing is for sure, Escasso has set out to break the mold with this machine. They have looked at basically every modern espresso machine design and decided that none of them are good enough anymore and it's time for something different. The result is their T-Tech, which powers their commercial line, the Barista T, as well as this machine, the Baby T. Now before I get into exactly how this works, let me tell you why this is such a big deal. Making espresso and steaming drinks basically comes down to two factors power and consistency. The T-Tech allows this machine to bring together high consistency, incredible precision, commercial steam power, while being 50% more energy efficient when compared against several dozen comparable dual boiler machines. Now, how does it do this? Well, it all starts with the steam boiler, which is stainless steel, 2.5 liters and 1200 watts. This is the workhorse behind the crazy steam power in here that surpasses even some commercial machines. The steam and espresso systems are totally separate. However, there is plumbing that runs through the walls of the steam boiler to preheat freshly drawn water on its way to the espresso group. This is very similar to what you would see in an HX or heat exchanger style system. However, in the Baby T, this is just preheating rather than primary heat like it would be in an HX style machine. The water then goes to an actively heated thermodynamic group, which is essentially a PID or temperature controlled thermocoil. And this is what does the lion's share of the work, making sure that the water going to that espresso puck is consistent to within plus or minus 0.5 degrees Celsius. Now, typically an espresso machine would fit into one of three designs. Number one, a dual boiler, where you have a large steam boiler and a smaller boiler for the espresso group. The Linea Mini and now the Micra are good examples of this. You also have HX style or heat exchanger style machines, which I just talked about. And these are machines where the steam boiler does all of the heating, but there's plumbing that runs through the steam boiler that heats the water on its way to the espresso group. A La Special S2 is a good example of an HX style machine. And then you have single and dual thermal coil machines where all the water passes through an actively heated block of metal on its way to become either steam or espresso. The Decent DE1 is a good example of this. Each of these designs lacks either power, mm. consistency, mm. or efficiency, mm. and Escasso has recognized this. The T-Tech is something entirely new designed to get all of the advantages of these systems with none of the disadvantages. It's got that HX style preheating stage married up with a thermocoil. This allows it to bring power, consistency, and energy efficiency all in one package. 
Now, here's something that's a little bit mind blowing about this design. Because the espresso group is actively heated, you don't need to fire up the steam boiler at all to be able to pull espresso. The first time I did this at home, I felt like I was cheating. The machine was hot in like five minutes and I was pulling espresso and the steam boiler was off. <laughs> now, Escasso doesn't stand behind the plus or minus 0.5 degrees Celsius benchmark when you're running this machine this way, obviously because you're giving up that preheating stage. But I would venture that the temperature stability of the water heading to the espresso group is still wildly consistent just because of the design of the Escasso Duo, which runs a very similar setup without the preheating stage at all and boasts exactly the same consistency. When you're tired and bleary eyed in the morning and you flip your machine on and it's ready to pull espresso in five minutes, if you don't need that steam power, it's a totally wild ride to use the machine like that. And it's a big plus of the design, in my opinion. Now, besides the T-Tech, there are a lot of features on this machine that you wouldn't normally find outside of cafes. It's got a fully stainless steel chassis and is easily serviceable, just like cafe machines. You can plumb it in or use the included reservoir and it's got a pro-grade rotary pump powering everything. It's got true volumetric dosing with four settings, each with their own programmable pre-infusion, which you can program to the 10th of a second. The espresso PID is accurate to within a half degree Celsius and the steam PID is accurate to within one degree Celsius. It's got LED lights, wood accents, a steam joystick that feels like a gear shifter in a sports car and hot water by Solenoid and it's smart. On the Baby T Plus, using the app, you can control absolutely every feature of the machine. You can program all your doses, all your pre-infusions, you can set sleep and wake schedules or turn it on or off manually. You also get stats on all of the shots that you've pulled. It's pretty impressive. There's also a more affordable version of the Baby T Plus called the Baby T Zero with some paired back features, no app, no rotary pump, it's got a vibratory pump instead, you can't plumb it in, but it offers everything else at a lower price point. The groundbreaking design of these machines mean it brings together the best of several worlds at a lower price point, which almost sounds like a pipe dream. Which brings us to the price. Now at $5,600, the Baby T Plus is definitely gonna be targeted toward a specific group. You're either gonna be a super hardcore home user or you're gonna be looking to set up your pop-up cafe or office with a machine that nears commercial quality, or maybe you're both. At this price, this machine definitely isn't the type of thing you go to Bed Bath & Beyond and buy on a whim. But if you want a machine that's just as much at home on your kitchen counter as it is in a commercial pop-up bar, you should stop and give this a very close look. Now, at this point, there are a couple machines that I would be remiss if I didn't mention the Lamarzoco Linea Mini and Micra. When you look online, you can find dozens of people who are all saying basically, hey, I was looking at the Linea Mini and I came across the Escasso Baby T. Does anybody have any info on this? Now I will say the recent release of the Micra changes this conversation a bit, so stay tuned for just a sec. Now in regards to the Mini, this may be a little controversial, but to all the people online who are looking at the Mini and have come across the Escasso Baby T, I'm just gonna say this. The Baby T goes well beyond the Mini in terms of features and is actually closer to a GS3 AV, which is totally crazy because that machine costs several thousand dollars more than a Mini, which in and of itself is more expensive than a Baby T. The Mini's biggest advantages are appreciable at a commercial scale, but they're actually kind of negligible for a home user. And there are lots of little features with the Mini that make it kind of annoying to use at home. The OPV is really hard to adjust. There's no way to see the level of the water reservoir from the outside of the machine. And if the water level gets too low, it's just gonna stop your shot right in the middle of it. Not only does the Baby T resolve all of these annoying little issues, but it also puts a bunch of features on top of that and it's way more efficient than the power hungry Mini. Now, a lot of this changed though with the release of the Micra. The Micra is smaller, it's cheaper, and it's designed explicitly for home users. Now, the thing with that is it's not really in the same category as the Mini or the T. There's no way it could keep up in a commercial environment. 
It's got the Lamar Zoco name, pedigree, and build quality, which is where it gets that crazy $3,900 price tag, but it's still a home machine that can't keep up with commercial machine. For that reason, the Micra is actually in a little bit of a different category than this or the Mini and is probably a better comparison against, you know, smaller dual boiler rotary pump machines. The closest answer that Escaso has to that category is actually the Duo, which I have a video on right here. You can check it out. Now, the Duo is in a little bit of a different tier again because it's not a rotary pump and it is also quite cheaper than a Micra. And even though the Micra does bring some good updates to the table for the La Marzocco line, it's still crazy expensive for what it is. Now I'm just gonna say this. If you really want a La Marzocco for your home or for your pop-up, go for it. Just be honest that you're paying for that name, for the look, and for the build quality, spending thousands of dollars more on a machine that has the same or fewer features as its competitors. I get that that is a polarizing view, so you can come at me at the comments. It's reality. Now, what don't I like about the baby team? There are a couple things. Flow profiling would be a brilliant ad, but flow profiling in a machine that's built like this would move it into a totally different price bracket. It also doesn't come with a bottomless portafilter, only the spouted, the bottomless is an add-on. I wish it came with the bottomless portafilter. I find the app could also use a little bit of improvement, like it works great, but it's kind of like a little rough around the edges visually. And I love the energy efficiency, but Scasso, can we talk about this badge? It's just kind of ugly. It also takes 20 amp power, which many modern kitchens have, but if you don't have it, you're gonna to need to get some electrical work done. Overall, the experience of using this machine is totally mind blowing. Moving to this from a home machine is like stepping out of a go-kart and stepping into a Ferrari. You can get your espresso dialed in to the 10th of a second and 10th of a degree, absolutely incredible precision. Then you can steam a full pitcher of milk and be done before your espresso's even finished pulling. Let me show you in real time exactly how fast that really is. The Baby T Plus is definitely on the upper end of the price spectrum, but even at $5,600, it's really competing with machines that are priced closer to $7,500, making it an incredibly attractive option. It thrives in both a light commercial as well as a home environment, and the price reflects that. Now, I wanna hear from you. Are you going between a La Marzocco and the Baby T? I wanna hear what you think. Have you heard of anything like the T-Tech in here? I would love to know your thoughts on that. And I would love to know if you think the world actually needs or wants these home commercial machine hybrids. And if you've been watching this video and you think, man, I really like this, but this machine is just so far out of my price range, you gotta check out my video on the Duo. That video is right here. And that machine really sits in a nice sweet spot of price for value for home machines. Just a reminder, the links to the Baby T are down in my description below. And if this video was helpful for you at all, I would love for you to subscribe, like this video, do all the good stuff. It really helps out my channel. Hope you have a great day and we'll see you next time. Cheers.